Welcome to X-Rex Explains. I'm Fred and today I have with me my colleague Krish who is the Head of Partnerships at X-Rex. We are here to talk about our star product, BitCheck, which is an escrow service used by many of our users um, all around the world. But um, today we are just going to take this opportunity to kind of like deep dive and um, understand from Krish what are the uh, applications of uh, BitCheck. But first, let's talk about what is escrow. So, uh, hi everyone, I'm Krish and uh, escrow is something which I'll try to make you understand with an example. So, the top term is, uh, it's a custody service wherein you give custody of a physical asset or a digital asset to someone until some specified conditions are made. Mm -hmm. So, for example, let's say I'm going to buy one used iPhone from him and for that he wants me to pay 1000 USDT. So, the scenario is he's either going to ship the product to me or I'm going to pay him, but neither of us trust each other. So for this case, I have to prove to him that I have the money that I can pay with him and he has to give me the phone after that. So I escrow 1000 USDT to him on x and then he can ship the phone. So what it does is basically I can prove that I have the money mm. and he can know that, okay, if I ship the goods, he cannot take the money back. So that's just an escrow service. So once I get the phone, I can release the escrow to him because at that point I cannot get the money back as well. So I have to honor the trust. So that's an escrow service. Right. And, and so with that out of the way, so let's talk about BitCheck. What is BitCheck? So the name itself is very self-explanatory, I think. Uh, BitCheck means Bitcoin plus check. So everybody in their time, people who are not in their early 20s have used a physical check. So it's just that you use to the you give the check to someone and he goes to the bank and encashes it. So that's a bit check. Bitcoin plus check in the digital world. So here with the bit check, you cannot just escrow Bitcoin, but you can escrow any other crypto that XRX supports, plus stable coins like USDT and USDC. So that's bit check for you. Digital check for the crypto world. Right. And so how does bit check work for me, say if I want to escrow funds, right? How does it work for me? So I just gave the example, right? Like mm. you, uh, you know, want to sell me a phone mm. and then I can escrow USDT to you and mm. you can uh, send the phone to me. I can check the phone. I can release the escrow. It can also be used in other ways. Like, for example, I know that you have great skills in producing quality videos, right? right. So I can ask you to make a good video for myself. I want to make a self-explanatory video and you say, OK, fine. I want to charge you 500 USDT for mm. everything. So I can also escrow you the 500 USDT. You make the video, you do the edits. So once I'm satisfied, I can release the escrow to you. Mm. So this can also work for you know, content producers, Web3, uh, content writers, all right. these people. Basically any situation where, where funds and trust Correct. are involved, right? Yeah. Okay, um, so actually what problem, um, what, uh, in your experience, right? Um, what problems do BitCheck solve? Yeah, so just now you talked about funds and trust, right? So BitCheck actually solves these two problems plus one more. So everybody who is using BitCheck on XREX is KYC'd. So XREX partners with the best KYC and compliance providers to verify who you are and what's your source of fund, mm. etc. So you know you're always dealing with the right people. Mm. So that's the first thing. Only KYC people can use BitCheck. Mm. The second thing is uh, funds. So I have to show the proof of fund that I have this much money to pay to you once you provide me the service or once you send me the goods. So I can do that by escrowing a bit check so that you know I have the funds. Mm. And the third thing and the most important thing which bit check solves is the issue of trust. So nobody has to really trust on the other person because they can actually trust the technology itself. Right. And the technology is bit check. So if you can put your money in the bit check, we mm. know you have the money, you know you are a verified person, mm. and you know that I cannot cancel the bit check on my own. So you have to approve it. In so many ways, it's even better than a physical check because a physical check can bounce, but a bit check, you really need that amount of money before Correct. you can issue the bit check. And uh, people will really use bit check because it's a uh, proof that they have a reputation that they have always honored their bit check. So you can actually see how many bit checks people have done before, mm. what they have done, how much they have bit checks done with how many people. So you can actually get an idea that, okay, this guy, he's you know, verified in XREX for a few months and he has done 50 bit checks. Mm. So you know this guy is a legitimate person mm. to do business with as well. Right. 
Um, and Xrex, we are huge about um, cross-border transactions and helping people and businesses all over the world um, solve these issues with BitCheck. So in your experience, can you um, just share some examples with us? Like, uh, let's start with uh, B2B, for example. Like, yeah, how sure. is a BitCheck used in a B2B scenario? As you are well aware that people have started accepting USDT and USDC, USD backed stable coins uh, for payments. So uh, in this respect, people who wants to accept stable coins, uh, they can easily accept on XREX. And this is where we help them because uh, once they accept the stable coins or once they get the escrow of stable coins, then they can ship the goods. And once the goods reach the buyer, the buyer can release the stable coin. And this scenario has played out multiple times in various jurisdictions. So one such example is uh, Taiwanese producer sends, uh, you know, uh, laptops and mobile phones to Argentina and the Argentinians pay in USDT to the Taiwanese company. The Taiwanese company gets the escrow and then releases the goods or sends the goods across. Once the goods reach there, they have three days time or two days time to check and verify the goods and release the escrow. So this makes it very easy for people to do cross-border trade mm -hmm. from you know, a very good established country mm -hmm. to even emerging economies or even poorer countries which may or may not have you know, easier ways to send USDT. Right. And how about a, a, a C2C um, scenario then? So uh, the C2C scenario is mostly uh, people who knows how to use crypto and mm. they see that uh, crypto is trading at higher uh, percentages or, you know, higher rates than the US dollar in their home country. Mm. So they buy USDT in their country and then send it across to their friends and family who then sells it on a local exchange to get local money. So this is as simple as that. So an example will be like a guy who is working in Middle East and he's from Indonesia. And in Middle East, you can easily buy you know, USDT in Dubai from a lot of people mm. and a lot of exchanges support it. Mm. So you buy USDT with your AED that you have earned in Dubai, and then you are sending it to your mother or your friend or your brother back in Indonesia. So Indonesia, they have few exchanges where you can directly convert your USDT to Indonesian rupiah and you can withdraw. So this actually makes the transaction much faster than the traditional one to three days that people take using uh, the traditional C2C remittance apps. Plus, uh, it also saves a lot of money mm -hmm. because you can actually get a little more than what you can get by sending to these remittance companies. So right. a lot of people are using USDT and USDC for C2C as well. Oh, okay. And, and there's another use case that I've been hearing a lot about recently, which is the P2P transaction. So how do we use P2P for, uh, use BitCheck for P2P? Yeah, so uh, let me be very clear that BitCheck is something which is not going to solve all your problems. So it can only solve few problems. Mm. The first one is with whom you are dealing with. Mm. So we KYC everyone very stringently. So you can be rest assured that the person whom you are dealing with has been properly verified. The second problem is if that user has the USDT in his account or not, mm. right? And the third thing is you don't have to trust the user. You just have to trust the mechanism, which is BitCheck. Yeah. So these are the three things BitCheck can solve. And now let's take an example. In XREX, uh, we don't support Indonesian rupiah or Indian rupees mm. or uh, Taiwan dollar. So right now, if I want to buy one USDT mm. from you, I don't want to send you money first. So it's again yeah. coming to the same problem, right? So I can expect you to send me one USDT escrow. Mm. And then once I get the escrow, you can tell me, send the money through line pay or send the money through bank account. And then I send the money to you, you get the money and then you release the bid check. Same thing happens in India. Uh, you get the USDT escrow. So you know that the person who has verified is somebody whom you are dealing with. Mm. Once you get the USDT escrow, you get the bank account or you get the account details where you have to send the money to that person. Once you send the money to that person, that person gets it in his account and he releases the bid check. So as simple as that. So no need to trust anyone, no need to trust that the person has money or not, mm. and no need to worry if this guy is a legitimate person mm. or somebody, you know, trying to fake somebody else. Right. So Krish, there's a question that um, comes up not frequently, but sometimes you hear it, is that is there a risk of a defaulted bid check? So of course, whenever two people are involved, you cannot always trust upon 
their integrity and honesty and maybe some circumstances which is beyond control so there is always a risk but uh, to my best of knowledge uh, we have been operational for the past 2 years and uh, there has never been a case where a bid check has not been honored so people have always honored their bid checks the main reason being bid check is just a way where your reputation is at risk so this is more like a reputational score for you also so if more and more people are doing more and more bid checks it's like they are somebody whom you can trust easily thanks so much for your time krish that's all the time we have for xrex explains um for more of our explains video um check out our youtube channel and then look at the playlist and you can understand a little bit more about how and why we do certain things at xrex and if you have any questions you can reach us uh, at our uh, customer service platform in the app or you can write to us at support@xrex.io at that's all the time we have thanks for watching goodbye thank you bye bye